Dear friends, now let's discuss uh, continuous uh, current rating in a little bit more detail. So, continuous uh, rating is also called as continuous current carrying capacity of the conductor whenever manufacturer is supplying a cable it is uh, giving a rating in ampere and that's uh, ampere mention is basically the continuous current rating when you go to uh, the manufacturer also they are providing short time rating uh, which is provided with a time two seconds or three seconds this rating is basically uh, is a short time rating so uh, uh, in, in, you can find this one in uh, in the sheet provided by uh, basically the manufacturer the overcurrent rating depends on thermal condition of the cable the value of maximum continuous current rating of cable is supplied by manufacturer the rating value for the specific condition of installation depth of laying ground temperature is also affecting the rating continuous rating of the cable so for example if cable is continuously rated for 10 amperes but uh, you are putting it with 10 or 20 another cable as a bundle so you cannot uh, take it uh, the 100 100 percent capacity like 10 ampere of the cable the cable capacity has to will be reduced and there is a certain uh, k factors that uh, i have explained you already you have to multiply it uh, and then uh, the actual rating real rating of the cable will be uh, available uh, what is the short circuit rating short circuit uh, current rating is a maximum short circuit current a component or assembly can safely uh, withstand when protected by a specific overcurrent protection or for a specific time so normally uh, a short circuit rating basically is uh, uh, is a rating when uh, there is a source and the, when the so and the load is bypassed and the source is short circuited. So this I have explained you already in in detail in my previous slide, and this is the definition. So all the manufacturers are also providing a short circuit rating, which is in in with 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 given certain time. So now in this uh, slide we will discuss short circuit rating for PVC and XLPE cables which are the most widely used cables uh, in, in the world. Short circuit ratings are based on assumption that duration of short circuit is too small and apparently that there is no transmission of heat produced during short circuit through the insulation and the whole of it is observed absorbed by the conductor so this is basically the criteria of short circuit assumption is it will be for a small time or predefined time because uh, if you uh, increase the time from one to two seconds each second will increase the capacity uh, uh, two times so you need a double size of conductor so Manufacturers are designing the short circuit capacity with a predefined time. It could be one second, three seconds, point five setting, depending upon the system. And apparently, there is no transmission of heat uh, produced during short circuit. It means that all the heat produced by the conductor is absorbed by the conductor itself, and no uh, heat is uh, dissolved. With a high increase in KVA, the capacity in power distribution systems, the cables are expected to carry short circuit. Uh, current of higher magnitude it means if uh, a small uh, area is supplied by for example before it was supplying 100 kVA now it's supplying uh, uh, 200 kVA so it means if for example if an area was supplied by 100 kVA transformer okay 100 kVA and here is for example is the load and if there is a short circuit here to the ground the short circuit level will be uh, 
higher for example 2 kilo ampere just an example but if this transformer 100 kVA is replaced by another transformer which is 200 it's double in capacity the short circuit level now will increase to for example 4 kilo amperes just an example so later on I in, uh, in this lecture I will show you how to calculate the short circuit level of specific uh, related to a specific uh, distribution systems or specific uh, source okay so then we have uh, power system cables are expected to carry short circuit to short circuit will be high because now if the kva rating which is basically more kva uh, it means there will be more short circuit current so if the kva rating is increasing now it it means we have a bigger generator or bigger transformer which can supply which can feed the fault deck normally rated at 70 degree centigrade pvc insulation material permit a short circuit temperature of 160 degree centigrade so we have an also sheet which is defining permissible uh, uh, short circuit uh, time short circuit current rating for pvc and xfp so short circuit current of any cable can be calculated as under so i short circuit is equal to k into a is basically the current rating divided by under root into t so T is basically the duration of short circuit in seconds and here you can see short circuit uh, and uh, A is the area of conductor in square mm and uh, K is the constant basically. So K is, a, is the constant for copper conductor uh, general plus PVC insulation it is 0 0.115 for copper uh, with heat resistance PVC it is 0 0.104 and for copper with XLP insulation, the constant is 0 0.43. So here you can see uh, if you increase the area. Uh, so let's see now. Let's analyze this formula. So here we have I short circuit is equal to K into A. So for example, if we are using uh, A the area in square mm. So for example, if we use the conductor for area is equal to 2 square mm. 2 square mm. And another conductor we are using as an 4 square mm. So let's calculate how much uh, will be the short circuit rating of that conductor. So the time we short circuit time we choose here is allowable time for short circuit because if you increase the time here is for example we choose here is as one second here is also one second so under root one will be remain one and we choose uh, here for example uh, okay the constant is not that much matter in this case but okay we will choose uh, copper for xlp this is 0.143 so uh, k is equal to we choose xlp cable which is 0 0.1143 Okay, so in this case we choose k is equal to 0.143 then the short circuit I short circuit for 2 mm will be equal to let's calculate uh, 0 0.143 into 2 so it will be equal to 0 0.2 it's six kilo amperes for one second okay and it will be equal to for four mm it will be equal to 0 0.143 into four 
so 0 0.572 low ampere for 4 mm so just in case uh, if we then now increase let's suppose that we increase the time from 1 second to 2 second allowable short circuit time will be equal to 2 seconds now so we are using the same conductor but we are take, taking that uh, the protection devices will take 2 seconds to clear the fault <coughs> so if the protection devices are now taking double time to clear the fault so let's see how much will be the short circuit so just we have to divide this to the root 1.41 so as per the formula that we have uh, 0 0.143 into 2 divided by 1.41 so now the short circuit level is reduced to 0 0.2 zero two kilo ampere okay and for basically have to multiply and for the four mm we have to just multiply by two it is equal to zero point four zero four kilo amperes so here you can see different how different factors are affecting the short circuit level for uh, and a copper conductor mostly used conductor in this distribution network in houses is a, is a copper so you have to use uh, this formula uh, in order to uh, do this uh, basically the calculations this will give you an idea whereas uh, these calculations are also provided by basically the manufacturer in, in a sheet so here I am showing you a short circuit current uh, sheet for um, general purpose PVC insulation heat resistance PVC insulation and for XLP insulations so different type of insulation copper cables we have three different type of short circuit ratings so here you can see for 1.5 mm uh, square cable the rating is 0.156 kilo ampere and uh, for uh, heat resistance PVC it is 0 0.73 and 0 0.2145 so these are basically the calculation sheet which is provided by the manufacturer so you can find this sheet in uh, when you are going to buy a cable you can always request the data sheet for the cable and you will find all these parameters in it so uh, now the question is that uh, your cable should be uh, able enough to carry the short circuit level uh, another option here it it is that if you want to um, safeguard your cable then you need to install an mcb and then it's mcb uh, job to protect the cable if the current is going beyond certain level it will try to stop the current and in that case it will save the cable so this is basically uh, the chart uh, you can understand that if cross-section area is increasing here from 1.5 to 300 you can see this the cable uh, short circuit level is also increasing so in order if if the cable uh, continuous rating is enough but the short circuit level uh, of the any system is high so you have to increase the conductor diameter or conductor cross-section area in order to meet this demand so as a layman we are thinking that we have to use a cable as per the load only but there is another parameter which is basically the short circuit level that we have to take care of. so thank you very much i hope this is really a good session that increase your knowledge